This is a time multiplexed dual imager camera. It retains the same form factor as a standard camera, but uses a unique FELC based aperture that can slew from f1.2 to f16 in just 10 microseconds. Here is our experimental lab setup for polarized background lighting. We image with a single lens through a polarizing beam splitter simultaneously into camera 0 and into camera 1. This is the image obtained from camera 0, and this is the image obtained from camera 1. From this, we can generate an alpha blended image with very high spatial resolution. This wildly gesticulating Shakespearean actress, as seen through camera 0 and seen simultaneously through camera 1, produces in real time this alpha blended mask and yields a rather convincing composite imaging result. Well. Transparent materials such as water and glass present unique challenges as these materials transmit the background lighting. The polarized dual imager system produces a high quality alpha mask even in these situations and produces a correspondingly good compositing result. In contrast, the green screen method of compositing has great difficulty with transparent subjects because the green color shows through and triggers an alpha blend of the background. This obscures the desired foreground and yields an unconvincing composite. Metallic subjects, such as the mirror-like sword that reflect the background, and subjects with fine detail, such as the feathered hat, are not difficult subjects for the dual imaging composite system. The speed and non-intrusive nature of the dual imager system produces quality results, even with difficult or uncooperative subjects. Watch this. Dual imager systems produce good results even with extreme defocusing. Note the quality of the edges of the dual imager alpha blend mat as compared to the green screen composite mat, which produces a very grainy final composite image. The classic test for real-time compositing is the evening news weather report. The dual imager system produces a quality result even when the host is wearing a chroma matched shirt. Note that the green screen method would fail catastrophically in this situation. Systems like green screening rely on the lower bandwidth chroma channel for alpha information. This limits the green screen performance in single CCD systems. The dual imager system uses luminance, and so it runs at full imager bandwidth and full imager resolution. Note the resolution of single hairs in this alpha channel mat in a portrait situation. 